quick tools. I've recently shared a video that I made for the 3D render challenge with an alien egg sac in it. In the video, an astronaut fires his weapon at the egg sac which then tears open and causes a massive leak. In my understanding, there's still no proper way to simulate a cloth tear dynamically in Blender version 2.8 and up. Well, at least not any method that I know of that doesn't require a third-party add-on or software. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I achieved the tearing effect with a very simple technique. In this scene, I've already pre-modeled the egg sac and rigged it with an armature. It's important to note that the tearing happens towards the middle of the animation at frame 355, which is also the same time for the start of my cloth simulation. The animation that you see before that is driven by an armature and displacement modifiers. The first thing that you need to do to create the tear effect is to model the tear first. For me, I've selected the edges where I want the tear to occur and split them apart in edit mode. If you want a more natural or art directed tear, you can use the knife tool to create the edges that you want to split for the tear instead. This will give you a hole in your mesh. And if you added the cloth simulation now, it would simulate the cloth with the hole already in place. In order to conceal the hole before the simulation starts, create a vertex group for the edges that mix the hole and add the weld modifier to only affect the vertex group. As the name suggests, this will weld together and dissolve overlapping vertices within a preset distance radius. And that's all you need to do. Once the simulation starts, you will see the illusion of tearing when the vertices are no longer within the weld distance. To further enhance the illusion, I've assigned the objects coming out of the hole as collision objects for the cloth simulation so that the flaps react and get pushed outwards when the tearing occurs. You can also play with the pressure value to create an expanding and contracting effect similar to popping a balloon. I hope you liked this video and I found this technique useful until we could dynamically simulate cloth tearing in the future. Until next time, thank you for watching, save your file, and I'll see you in the next video. Hi! <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs>